dinosaur. What's up, everybody? My name is Scott, and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. And today, we're going to have some more fun with pocket pistols. A few months Ooh. ago, I did a video called How Lethal Are Pocket Pistols. I tested out several different pocket pistols. That's a lot of pocket pistols. Mm, this may get annoying. No, you know what? Every time I say pocket pistol, you've got to text a friend and tell them to subscribe to Kentucky Ballistics. I tested out several different pocket pistols to see how lethal or not lethal the pocket <laughs> pistols were. The results were pretty interesting, so I thought we should do part two. Today I have another batch of pocket pistols, and Ooh. we're going to test them out on our Ballistic Dummy Lab zombie torso. If okay. you've never seen one of these before, they have lifelike flesh, bones, and organs, and this one has been zombified with green blood. I'm super okay. excited to get started, zombie. but before we do, let me tell you about today's sponsor and today's sponsor, sponsor! is Tuesday Last Survivors. Tuesday Last Survivors. Last Survivors is a zombie survival strategy game with multiplayer online oh, competition and real-time strategy fun. elements. Before I tell you how to slay hundreds of zombies and how awesome it is, first I have some big news for you. Thanks to Doomsday, not only can you enjoy I don't know, every time when I'm watching this video on my stream, watching their ads, is, I, I'm thinking, if I watch all the ads on my stream, are they gonna help them like that? Because <laughs> I'm, I'm watching their content, though. I'm just watching their content, so, like, if I watch the ad, it, it's gonna help them like that. <laughs> like that. Doomsday Last Survivors has a unique... Map Kinda, yeah! ...for a unique view of the post-apocalyptic game world. March freely in this I mean, it's a QR code there. Is it a mobile app? Is it a mobile app the there? Battles in Doomsday yeah. Last Survivors got I need to you, you to look at it! You can change your route at any time and attack the barracks... Oh, it's a mobile app? I don't know. You can also hide in the refuge of your allies and come mobile out... Mobile as heck. <laughs> Come and join us so. the thrill of strategizing with me. To survive, Wish. you need to reinforce Wish. your shelter and recruit the strongest heroes. I'm waiting for also, I'm waiting for the sponsor as well. Hey, I'm on camera, I'm just doing it myself. Anytime. Anytime. I'll do the game. I'm waiting for the sponsors today. I'd recommend some of Internet Historian's videos. I am the one as well. the post apocalyptic wasteland. I can choose powerful and talented heroes to join my adventures and use their skills. So is it good Personally, I like Hank the most. Hank looks like a guy that would be very good at survival. Do not get it. You survive alone. You can form or join an alliance and work with your allies to protect your water source, explore the world, and take on Let's get back to it. Okay. So let's get started with this pocket pistol video. The first pocket pistol I have is a pin gun. This appears to be a pin, but it's actually a pistol. And this what? is chambered in twenty. That's a pistol? That's a pistol? Wait, what? What? No way! Could it be sort of all? It's a pin gun? Wait, is that capable of killing someone? It's so tiny. Yes? Whoa. Long rifle. When we tested out the pin gun, the results were not very eventful, so I'm very curious to see how it does against this zombie torso. Ah! Oh, it didn't. It has a very nifty unloading feature. It appears that this pocket pistol did not do a very good job. Hmm. The 22 hit right there, and you can see it stopped. Oh, wait! Oh, lid. that's it painful. Right oh, there. my. Judging from what I've seen before with this thing and now this, I would say that this is definitely not a very effective carry option. But, 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 but it went to the bone. It went to the bone. Isn't that how? Isn't uh, it hurt so bad? Are you talking 
Alright, the next pocket pistol I have is actually two pocket pistols in one pocket pistol. This is a Ducktown Derringer. It is an over-under. The bottom barrel is 45 Colt and the top barrel is 22 long rifle. Mm -hmm. Things actually kind of tricky. On the hammer, you have to flick this upwards to hit the 22 and then down for your 45 Colt. Okay, we got 22 long rifle. And then I have some Underwood ammo, 45 Colt. These are 250 grain full metal jackets. Let's go for the 22 first. Whoa! What happened? Now I'll flick my little. There's an old joke my dad used down. to tell me. If somebody shot me with this a .22 round, I'd be pretty mad and about it when I found out. Colt. What? Oh. What? You'll be dead! You'll be dead! Not mad! Did I kill another child? I'm sorry. <laughs> stuck on the zombie's sternum. So time and time again, we are finding out that 22 long rifle is not a very good cartridge for personal defense. Let's see the 45 Colt. We hit right here. Huh. And looks like we hit some bone. We did? But we did not make it all the way through. It is actually stopped right there. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. Oh, I see it! Mute it, mute it. I'm actually really surprised that this thing functioned correctly. The 22 long rifle is kind of meh, but the 45 Colt did a pretty good job. So speaking of 45 Colt, our next pocket pistol is a long one. This is another Ducktown Derringer, but this one has a 10 inch barrel. This Ooh. thing is chambered in 45 Colt, but also accepts 410 shotgun shells. Let's start with <gasps> a shotgun. Grain, 45 Whoa. Colt. The 45 Colt out of the other Derringer did not make it all the way through the zombie. Will we make it all the way through with this increased barrel length? Maybe. There we go. Maybe. Oh! He missed okay, it. Okay, it's it's shooting a little high. He missed. Missed. I'm gonna aim a little lower this time. I, I'm pretty sure I shot the same <laughs> spot twice. Skinny <laughs> shit, Okay, round three. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I think it went, it went through it. Can't see stuns on it. Okay, all right. I actually hit lower that time. Not gonna lie, nice. for just a second, I thought I shot in the same spot a third time, but I did not. Nice. We hit right here, and for the record, I was having to aim all the way down here <laughs> to hit there. Oh, wow. And we made it all the way through that time. Our first shot with the 45 Colt with the <gasps> shoulder barrel Oh, there. wow. We stopped right there on the shoulder blade, but that time, we made it completely through the zombie torso. So in this case, Size does matter. We are Size going does to matter. quite a few holes, so I'm going to go ahead and mark all these. Two hours later. later. So we got to do one more thing with this pocket pistol. Not only does it fire 45 Colt, but it mm -hmm. will also accept 410 shotgun shells. This is a two shotgun. and a half inch triple lot buck 410. Chow, why why shotgun doesn't call bullet? It's, ca it's called well, shot shells, right? Zero shotgun shell is only really useful for really small game like pigeon and quail and to occasional squirrel at close range. Oh, why is it called shotgun shells, not the bullet? No. Yeah. So only shotgun shells is called shell. The other are... What's, what, what is the difference between ammo, bullet, and shells? I, I tried to learn it, but it's called shotgun shells, bullet, ammo. What's the difference, though? What is the difference? Shells holds mini powder. Oh, oh. Shell is a collected word. Oh, so, like, uh, if you have, like, a shells, bullet, a lot of stuff, you just call it ammo? Like that? Like a, it's like a shells... Anything in general, it's called ammo. And then when you try to more go for detail, there's a bullet and a shelf. Like that. Oh, oh. 
Shelf contains the bullet dance. Ah! Okay, okay. Ah, okay, okay. Arigato. Thank you so, so, so much. Oh, I got it. I got it now. Thank you. I was so confusing because they call shelf, ammo, sh uh, bullet. Press shotgun like... round, fire multiple pellets, which scatter the further ah, the distance. Ah, arigato. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Naruto. Naka, tama no yubikata ga. ボレットとアモとシェルターってその違いが分かんなかったのでシェルはショ,ットとかショットガンとかのいろいろ火薬とかが入ってるやつでボレットはあの普通のピストルとかに仕込むやつでそれらを総称したものがアモへえオーケー Thank you チャー Thank you だよありがとう oh! おお、so A little bit of zombie blood going on here. Uh oh. Oh, one of them actually did make it through the zombie. And you can see another one is stuck right there. So I guess if I had to pick between 45 Colts and a. Wait, so if it's shotgun, there's a lot of bullet inside. So when you fire it, it's going to be like、um, a lot of ammo will spread. Right? It's not just a one single bullet, right? Is that, is that it? いやあ、オッケーオッケー、ガレガレガレ。ああ、三段って言うもんね。で、ちっちゃい玉がいっぱい入ってんだよね。ああ、オッケー、ガレガレガレガレ。A 410 shotgun shell. I'm gonna go with the 410 shotgun shell. If Peter Piper could pack a pile of pocket pistols, how many pocket pistols would Peter Piper pack? Peter Piper pocket pistols. Pocket pistols. So speaking of 410, I have yet another. <laughs> Ducktown Derringer, and this one is chambered in. Sugi shabir, sugi shabir. Shotgun shells are a shell holding the pellets, and the number and size of the pellets vary from shell and use. While slug is a solid chunk of lead, while normal bullets are the projectile brass casing and the primer to set it off. Ah, I think I got the idea, though. I think I got the idea. Arigato, thank you, thank you. Arigato. This one. This is basically just a giant cylinder, and. It holds five rounds. It is the most ridiculous Derringer I think I have ever seen. Derringer! I am not even going to bother putting a 45 Colt in this thing. I am just interested in a two and a half inch 410 shell.、Oh. I don't know why this thing is a little sketchy. It's kind of loosey goosey. Loosey goosey. I don't why I'm so attracted to sketchy guns. But that addiction does come with a price. <gasps> <laughs> What happened? Hey! It actually works, and this thing is so heavy. Misfire! Oh no! But the recoil wasn't that bad, and our cylinder didn't move or anything. Did I even hit him though? I don't know. Well, no. Here we go. That's a new hit. That's a new hit. That's a new hit. And it appears we do have an exit right here, and. That is it. So again, it's Chat, which one is the danger? The bullet is still inside or it went through? I think it went through will be more dangerous because there will be like a more bleeding. Which one is the danger s though? Inside? Inside is it dangerous?、Uh, so、nanda, why? Oh, inside is more dangerous? Really? Oh, really? Oh. Oh, maybe because you have to remove it from your body with a surgery. Hey, so n a n d a Infection? Oh, that's so true. That's so true. So, the time is not going to be able to get the money. Eh, it's not going to be able to get the money. Eh, it's not going to be able to get the money. He almost died when a 50 caliber sniper rifle blew up in his face and severed the artery in his neck. Eh! Well, I'm so glad he's okay. I'm so glad he's okay. Nah. It can cause an infection. Oh my my, that's scary. Hi. Thank you, thank you. I need a phone. Shotgun shells are pretty effective. The next pocket pistol I have is an AMT backup. This thing is pretty cool. It's about the size of a Ruger LCP. Oh. This thing is chambered in 45 ACP. These are Underwood ammo. It looks so cool. 30 grain jacket at hollow points. And this thing holds five rounds. Really curious to see if it fires. Here we go. Okay, you got like no front sight. Oh! Ooh, 
Ooh, that is a stiff trigger. Ooh. Oh, it went through, it went through. Can't say stop. And it looks like I pulled that shot to the right. Yeah. Okay, well, we have a few more pocket pistols to go through, so I'm going to take it. We hit right here. Mm -hmm. And you can see we had some really good expansion of that 45 <gasps> ACP. And it did indeed make it all the way through the zombie torso. Oh. So the next pocket pistol is a unique one and one that I'm very excited to try out. This is the cop pocket pistol. It has four barrels and it's chambered in 357 Magnum four. or 38 Special. I believe cop stands for compact off-duty pistol. This thing is very common. That means they carry that like on their not on their day off and stuff. Off duty is like uh their day off, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've learned that from the the TV drama series from the ABC that is called The Rookie. It's a it's a it's a story about cop and I've been watching that so I've learned a lot of things about cop from that one. <laughs> so Pat, I'm just very curious to what kind of snap we're going to get out of this thing. Your rear sight is also your latch to open it. It's kind of cool. Kind of looks like a little rocket launcher. I have some Underwood ammo, Ooh. 357 Magnum, 158 grain bonded jacket at hollow points. So you only have one trigger. There's no way to fire all four barrels at once. Every time you pull the trigger, it rotates to the next barrel. <laughs> I've only been taking one shot with each pocket pistol, but I'm really curious to see if we can get all four barrels to function. All right, let's do this. Let's go! What? Oh, all right, we got one. Oh, it went through! Oh my, my. I'll be dead. All I guarantee right. I'll be dead. It functioned just as it should, and it does have some recoil, but nowhere near as bad as you would think. I guess hey. you can kind of pull these out like this. Oh, those are stuck in there good. So reloading may be a problem. Mm. Um, we definitely have some damage here on our zombie. Ooh, okay. I probably should have marked the back of the zombie too, but I do know that that is new. Um, you have some jacket and lead right there. <gasps> we did manage to make it all the way through the zombie with at least one 357 Magnum. Ooh. I want to say that is also new. So probably two out of the four. So this next pocket oh, really? pistol Just is going to step it up a notch. When you think of a pocket pistol, you probably think of a pistol cartridge. Well, this pocket <gasps> pistol is chambered in 223. That is a rifle round. Rifle? Some Underwood ammo, 223, 55 grain hunting rounds. We're gonna load this thing up and That's so tiny. see what kind of penetration we get. All right, here we go. Let's see it. That's a long trigger. Oh! Whoa! Talk about a fireball. Oh my goodness. Where did it go? Where did he go? Yay! Oh! Did it went through? Okay, well, I was thinking with this little guy using a 223 rifle round, mm -hmm. your barrel's not very long. That powder doesn't have enough time to really burn off, and that's why we had such a big muzzle flash. But my goodness, um, we hit right here, oh. that itty bitty hole. You can kind of see some zombie oh. poop starting to seep in oh. there. And we blew through the back Whoa! right here. That we is, did uh, it! Pretty wild. So good. I didn't expect it to perform that well. Yeah, it me did too. Not kick very hard, but man, that was loud and one big muzzle flash. If you shot that at night, even if you missed them, you're both probably going to be blind. 
Our next pocket pistol is yet another Heiser Derringer, and this one is chambered in 7.62 by 39. These are Ooh. Underwood ammo, 123 grain control. Is that rifle chaos. ammo? This is the caliber of the AK-47. AK-47. The 223 did. I'm actually yes? really oh, excited okay, okay, to see okay. what this does. We have not shot this guy in the dome yet, so let's go ahead and aim there. pistol was uh effective okay well, deadly weapon we have made quite a mess um i hit right there ah, that is oh, oh that's pretty bad yep that's bad oh. Oh, I, uh, I wasn't expecting that i was expecting it to do some damage but that's a lot of damage maybe <laughs> we should give him one to the it body is. just to see what happens okie dokie let's Give him one just Ooh. like right smack dab in the middle. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Man, this thing does not kick, but it is very loud and also creates a giant fireball. Okay, I think we hit in this stop, area stop. right He's there. Stop, stop, he's already dead. Honey, honey, cry, honey, yes. sing. He's already dead. Mm. I don't think we made it through the other side. Oh, we didn't. <laughs> oh, let's see if we can fix that. Oh, ah, oh uh, good as new. Are you, are you, you know sure? what makes a pocket pistol are you a sure? pocket <laughs> pistol? Whether or not you can fit it in your pocket or not. And that's why I wear pants with giant <laughs> pockets. This <laughs> pocket <laughs> pistol, my personal favorite, is a Remington World a Warriors 12-gauge <laughs> shotgun with 10-inch barrels. Let's Dick see what yeah. kind of damage we can do to Mr. Zombie here. We're going to start out with some bird shot. A bit All of right, flex tape will fix bird that shot. zombie. Oh! Bam! Oh, so dead. So dead. I'm going to remove this rod. That's not safe. What, uh, what do I got next in here? That is some double lot buck. See how Ooh. it handles that. Oh! Yeah! Oh my, it's completely got destroyed. All right, I don't think Mr. Zombie liked that one. <laughs> Let's take a look real quick before we move on. Okay. <laughs> oh that my. That right there is pretty gnarly. Oh my. Oh. Look at the bird shot. That is nuts. Oh Those my did gosh. Not make it all the way through him. You can actually see them all inside. Oh, the I zombie. see, I see it. What do I got Yama. next in my pocket? Let's Yama. see here. Oh, I've got a little mini shell of double lot butt. Ah. <laughs> Woo! That was cute. Oh. What else is in my pocket here? <laughs> oh, we have a one ounce slug. That one right there, not gonna be nice. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can actually get a good bead on him. Okay. like a 12 gauge slug he's so is dead the optimum pocket yeah, pistol but... ammunition that knocked him clean over what it? Was in Noah? oh yeah that is a big hole oh we got Mr. zombie stood back up again but he's probably <laughs> gonna fall right back down because now i'm gonna load up with a <gasps> three inch turkey load wow. let's go you gotta really hang on to this one here we go Wow. Oh my gosh! Yeah! Yeah! That's a scary weapon. That's yeah, a very scary. I'd say Mr. Zombie here has about had it. He is not looking too good. <laughs> he is missing pretty much all of his ribs yeah. and all of his front skin. Yeah! 
I had a lot of fun today and really enjoyed today's video. Sure I hope yeah. you did too. Most of these pocket pistols were pretty impressive. Yeah. Which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section down below. That was, oh my goodness.